what is endometrial regeneration who needs it does everybody need it can you please yeah. explain this? very important question i know one couple they used to come from somewhere near hosur and they had undergone an ivf there at hosur fertility center mm -hmm. and they had created the embryos 24 months she did not get her endometrium properly 24 two months. years they have postponed giving her repeated hormonal replacement therapy calling her again putting her on oc pills again putting on hormone replacement the endometrium had never come to a proper dimension for them to transfer mm -hmm. so that couple had got completely distraught and they had approached us and what we did here was found out that whether she had any infection lurking inside the uterus, mm. which is preventing her endometrium to grow like tuberculosis. She, uh, all her biopsies were negative for tuberculosis and other infections. Mm. And then the other hormone analysis, everything was perfect. <coughs> but that lady was not getting a good uh, triple line endometrium with good blood flow. Mm. So we had to start her on endometrium regeneration, mm. give her uh, granulocyte uh, stimulating factor, GCSF injections mm. into the uterus and also put the bioactive peptide concentrate, which is prepared from the patient's blood itself. We take the platelet concentrate and then prepare it. And we had to inject it inside thrice in the one cycle mm. and the endometrium grew up to seven. Mm. That was the maximum she was getting. And mm -hmm. then we transferred her through sequential day three and day five, and she conceived. So there are many, many patients who, because of some unknown uh, causes, they don't get the proper endometrial growth, which should grow alongside the egg. Okay. So as the follicle is growing, even the endometrium lining should grow because of the hormone secreted from the ovaries. Mm -hmm. But some people, as in case of a polycystic ovarian disease, the follicle keeps growing, but the endometrium never grows. Mm -hmm. Or in some people, when they are using inadvertent doses of clomiphen citrate, only the follicle starts expanding, but the endometrium never grows. Uh, the clomiphen has some uh, side effects with regarding the endometrial growth, which is anti-estrogenic effect, but it forms the very good follicle. Okay. But it is of a waste because the follicle ruptures and the embryo has to finally come and sit inside the uterus to implant, isn't it? Okay. And some people will have inside pelvic infections or uterine infections, chronic endometritis, which does not enable the endometrium to grow properly. So in those cases, we put a proper HRT hormone replacement therapy, monitor them, and then also inject the granulocyte colony stimulating factor mm -hmm. and also bioactive peptide concentrate. There are many, many approaches towards it. Also, we have vaginal tablet sildenafil, which will help the blood flow to increase. There are many, many methods to regenerate the endometrium. Okay. So by those methods, we can really help for the implantation of the embryos. Okay.